Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of Divina. Divina is a plant that belongs to the same family as other plants that we know really well, such as sunflowers, daisies, mugwort, wormwood, and German and Roman chamomile, which of course give us those beautiful chamomile essential oils. Divina is native to southern India, and it grows in dry deciduous forests there, similar to where we find Indian sandalwood. Now this plant, the Divina plant, has these really beautiful silver-like green fern-shaped um, leaves and these baby little yellow flowers. And when we distill those leaves, we get this really fragrant essential oil, which kind of has plum and raisin notes about it. This has become a really honored plant and essential oil in India and has worked into the mythology and spiritual practices. In this video, I want to explore with you all the different ways that you can bring Divana into your life that will benefit not only your spiritual practices, but also your everyday physical well-being, as well as your mental and emotional well-being. There's a really interesting trait about Divana that makes it quite a celebrated essential oil. If you and I and a couple of others were sitting together and we all applied some Divana to our skin, give it a couple of minutes and it would all smell really distinctly differently. Divina has this tendency to dance with our own personal chemistry and create our own signature fragrance. How cool is that? Now this fragrance can be quite flirtatious and even be used as an aphrodisiac. But while we're applying it to our skin, also feel free to apply it to the skin on our face. It can really help to smooth out our complexion and give us a more beautiful look. So mixing a little bit with your nighttime moisturizer can be really powerful. Or if you've got a little cut or nick or something's not too, you know, a bit of a blemish, then putting a bit of diviner on that can really, I find, helps to promote the quick healing of that as well. Now, I've also spoken to different women that use diviner and they find it really helps with all different levels of reproductive health. Whether it be, you know, helping them with having a really healthy and um, trouble-free menstrual cycle, all the way through to, you know, I know a couple of people that it really helps with menstrual cramps and different things. So getting it again and rubbing it on the abdomen can be really powerful. I also love Divina on times, you know, when you just like the world is beating you up and you're just feeling a bit kind of like overwhelmed and phlegmy and coughed up and, and heavy in the head, that kind of thing. I'll get Divina and if I've got one of those really like <coughs> mucusy coughs, um, it's really nice on the chest. I know I'm sounding attractive. <laughs> um, you know, and if you've got a bit of a headache or anything like that, I love to rub it on, on the head and I just find it really helps me to relax and kind of open everything up again. And that can help me during the day to try and still be normal when I'm feeling a little bit rotten and to get a better night's sleep as well. So Divina has some really nice attributes for the body. And so I would encourage you to, you know, especially on the skin, it's absolutely amazing, whether it be the skin on our face or on our chest to help us with our respiratory system or on the abdomen to help with reproductive health. The effect of Divana can be really calming and comforting. And when you've had something that really shocking or overwhelming, some type of trauma has happened to you, maybe you're a bit disappointed because things haven't gone the way you expected them to. Or maybe, you know, there's a sense of failure that you kind of were responsible for something stuffing up. This can be a really nice, reassuring kind of essential oil. It really helps with fears, with anxieties, and to give you a bit of more boost in the self-esteem. It can actually help you to boost your confidence in your ability to adapt to changes. So when things have gone wrong, to be able to pivot, change, and deal with that as well. One of the really powerful things about Divana is sometimes we can't get outside into nature where we really love to be. Maybe it's cold weather or maybe we've just got long hours and a lot, big workload. But having Divana around will really help you to ground and connect with the earth and bring in that earth energy in the home. So whether you're diffusing or just rolling a little bit or on your hands and smelling it, this can really help you to go, okay, I feel reinvigorated, I feel recentered, I'm ready to tackle whatever's happening and I have the ability to do that as well. Remember before how I said Divana works with your own personal chemistry to create a nice, unique fragrance? Well, Divana on a deeper level actually helps us to appreciate our uniqueness. It allows us to see how amazing we are and when we're getting into a state of comparison and that we're not as good as someone else, it goes, hey, what, let's look at what your special magic is. It can really help you to break past limitations where you are holding yourself back. And it can actually help you to feel, I guess, inspired. And it's fun to claim your own power and um, dance to the beat of your own drum. This can be a really great oil as well for not only embracing your uniqueness, but also the uniqueness of other people. 
This is an oil that helps you to open up and embrace diversity. So whether it's your own attitudes or you're trying to create a place that's very inclusive, a space that's very inclusive, Divana is a key essential oil for this. This is really timely, I think, at this time and age when there are so many people with different opinions and voicing them on social media and that type of thing. And often we're looking at how we're separate from one another rather than seeing that the beauty is all in our oneness. Now when you look at the background behind me, you can see that there's lots of different plants growing and you can hear maybe the different birds in the black in the background. Now if they were all one plant and one animal, it wouldn't have this beautiful ecosystem and it probably would perish and not survive. Everything is playing its role and thus in humanity we each have a different unique special role to play and Divana will allow us to really appreciate that. Now in Hinduism there are three main gods. There is Brahma who is the creator, there is Vishnu who is the maintainer or the preserver and then there is Shiva who is the destroyer. Now he may seem like when you think about that, oh, that's not the, that's you know, that's that's the bad part, Shiva. But in fact, Divana is sacred to Shiva because Shiva helps us to let go of all, uh, other things so that we can transform. He is the um, the transformer, I guess, in that type of way. In fact, they would pick the fla flowers in India, or they still do, um, in the morning and put them on different temples and spaces that are dedicated to Shiva as well. Shiva helps us to change and transform and again give us that confidence and so working with this kind of energy and divana will really help you to deal with the changes that are happening. Here as I film this video in 2020 there are lots of different changes that are happening and we're having to adapt all the time and do things differently. Now we can either fall on the ground and cry like a baby because it's just not how it used to be or we can look at the different opportunities. One of the interesting things is that Divana is often planted in gardens because it attracts lots of butterflies. Now remember butterflies represent transformation. They come from that caterpillar, they go into their cocoon, that darkness, they face the darkness, they, you know, and then they push themselves out of that darkness and become that freedom. Divana can also help you to become free in that way. Really, really beautiful. Now, we each live in different parts of the world and I know that we're watching this video in different parts of the world. And we all have different energies in different land and there are different elemental beings and different magic there. And Divana can help you to really connect with the land where you are, especially where you're from. It can really help you to connect with the land as a whole, the energy as a whole, and also those mythical and divine elemental beings as well. And gain the knowledge and the power of that land and draw upon that as a state of energy for you as well. Divana is going to show you how brilliant you are how brilliant everyone else is, how we can keep on changing and evolving to become better and better, and how to connect with the land wherever we are. There are mixed opinions on which chakra Divana works with best. Some saying it works with the sacral, the throat, the third eye, or even the crown. But I found that I really like to work with Divana when working on the base chakra. Now we know at a basic level, the base chakra helps us to feel safe and secure, that we have the ability to provide for our basic primal needs. That is that we have enough food, we have enough drink, we have enough um, you know, home and shelter, we can get a good night's sleep, and we have that basic health care. But as we start to feel more safe and secure, we can actually start to expand the realm of this chakra and not only just feel like we can survive on the physical realm, but that we can actually thrive, that we have control over our lives. And instead of being reactive to whatever is happening around us, working with Divana and expanding the base chakra can actually help us to thrive, to be able to start making changes in our lives and changing what we eat and changing all these different things and go, no, my experience in this physical realm is going to be in my control. So, would you like to feel more grounded and more able to adapt and change and rearrange the universe to what suits you and what experiences you want to have? We'll start working with the base chakra and expanding it in that different way and looking at how you can get more safety, more security as you start to stretch out your roots further and further. This will also help you to connect more with the earth. When using Divana in this way, it's great in meditation to put a drop in your hand visualize and see that red ball of light at the base of your spine really growing or even expanding into the earth and connecting in with the earth a little bit more but also diffusing it or wearing it throughout the day again as your natural fragrance will be a really powerful way for helping you to shift from being reactive to proactive in your life and also from surviving through to thriving.
Divine essential oil is such a complex aroma that it can be really nice just by itself, dancing with your own chemistry, as I mentioned before. But you can also make some really interesting blends that smell really great and also have some interesting effects. Now, because Divana plants like to actually grow under um, Indian sandalwood trees, Try blending Indian sandalwood with Divina essential oil and see what amazing scent you get. There you've got two plants that grow together, have a relationship in nature, and you can draw them together. Now the advantage of this is that sandalwood has a similar chemical constituent to a male pheromone. So sandalwood is great for guys to wear to actually make them a little bit more attractive. And we know that Divina is an aphrodisiac as well. You might also want to bring in something like patchouli. Now all these are very grounding earthy. They're gonna work great, great for the base chakra and they're gonna have that aphrodisiac um, kind of effect as well. Frankincense would be another really nice one to bring in with Divana, and even seductive oils such as jasmine and ylang ylang. Now these can be worn to aromatically dress in as your natural fragrance or popped in the diffuser to kind of set the mood and really help you ground yourself and feel more confident, whether it be in the bedroom or just getting out there in life. To make the most out of your divine or essential oil, bring in other gifts of nature and other correspondences and complementary energies and these will all dance together in this beautiful medley, just like you and the divine chemistry and make more and more magic. Now I love working with crystals, there are two different crystals that I'm called to work with when I reach for divina. The first one is a crystal called astrophyllite, you can see it on this rather small pendant here, but here's another example of it here and you can see it's got these beautiful bronze coloured sparkling stars. Astrophilite is absolutely amazing for helping you to wake up to the wonder of the world, to see the magic in the world, how everything's beautiful. When times have been tough, sometimes we can go and get that narrow-minded approach that it's all doom and gloom. But astrophilite helps us to wake up to the wonder. It reminds me of, you know, when you sit out at night and look at the stars and just sit there and go, wow, isn't the world amazing? It helps us to see our own beauty, the beauty that exists within us, and also the beauty in other people and the diverse and amazing magic that the whole each individual has to bring to this world. Now, because the diviner has that real kind of aphrodisiac kind of energy and that connection to Shiva, the other crystal I work for is Shiva that I work with, sorry, is Shiva Lingam. Now these are river stones that are polished in this shape um, from India and they are dedicated to Shiva. They are really good at attracting new love into your life and enhancing the love that you already have in your life. So especially if you're wearing Divana in the bedroom or if you're diffusing it in the bedroom, having a Shiva Lingam in the bedroom as well also promotes that kind of very sensual and sexual connective energy. Now this isn't just about kind of having sex, it's about love making and connection and union of two souls and Shiva Lingam really helps that. It can also help a little bit with fertility when you're wanting to start a family or expand your family as well. Now when it comes to animal guides, the animal wisdom I reach for when I'm working with Divana is the cobra. Now cobras, when people think of cobras, they normally think of a couple of different things. Scary. Yes, cobras are about tackling our fear and transforming beyond our fear and Divana helps us to do that. When things are going wrong, allow Divana to give you confidence to counteract that. Cobras also represent healing and transformation and also being able to grow and grow and when we kind of ex accept what's happening and rise above that and accept everyone around us, then we can grow as well. Of course, snakes do have a bit of a sexual energy and again, this comes into the diviner type of energy. Now, astrologically, because of those little yellow flowers, diviner is connected to Mercury. Any plant with a yellow flower has a connection to Mercury. And so what happens with diviner being a leaf oil as well, really works with the mind to help us kind of rationale through things and go, hold on, no, I can tackle this better. I can see more to kind of expand our, our mind and our intellect and our approach and our attitudes as well. Being dedicated to Mercury, Wednesday is a day ruled by Mercury. So Wednesday is the best day to do all your magical and meditative workings with Divina. I find it works really well with the star sign Gemini to help us to be more sociable, like a social butterfly, and dance around from person to person and appreciate that. Now, you don't need to be a Gemini to work with Divina, but we can all bring in that social, open-minded um, mannerisms that a Gemini has and bring that Gemini nature into our life. Now, remember when it comes to essential oils, Divina is actually quite a rare one and it can be quite hard to source. So if you're getting a cheap one, it's quite possible that it's adulterated and not the real thing. You want to make sure you're getting a pure therapeutic grade essential oil, one ideally that comes from India where nature intended. If you'd like to know more about getting top quality essential oils, my contact details below. 
more than happy to help you out with that. If you've worked with Divana, I also love hearing about other people's experiences. That's how we all grow together. So if you have, share a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.